Hi everyone, this is Ming Yao from Ozen Engineering and in this video I'll be demonstrating how to set up a CFD analysis in CFX using the immersed boundary method. We're going to start with the SOLIDWORKS assembly here and we'll use it to extract the flow region. The benefit of the immersed boundary method is that it allows us to uh, perform rigid body or motion of uh, components inside of analysis very quickly and easily. But the trade-off is that it's not as accurate. We don't get as much boundary resolution or flow profile as we like with a lot of well-defined. So um, let's give this a try. Okay, so this is our flow region. It's the same plug valve that we've done previously. I'm going to extract the flow. So let's go ahead and uh, go to workbench, prepare volume extraction, select the, the capping surfaces and select the surface on the inside, hit OK and it generates this model. So because this is a flow analysis, uh, it's an immersed boundary analysis, we don't need the, the flow that, that uh, the area that, that the valve is extracted from, which means we can select set of faces okay I'm gonna get rid of this okay we want to extract remove the the hole there so I'm going to do a fill okay. uh, let's go ahead and delete these uh, unnecessary edges to make the meshing a little bit easier and then I'm going to turn on the plug. Okay, so those are overlapping sections. The rest we don't need, so I'm going to suppress for physics. Uh, we can do this full model, or we can do a symmetry, uh, half symmetry model, which is easier to work with. So let's go ahead and do a split body of all of these by this. Let me get rid of that. And that's, uh, that's the model we're going to use for, for our analysis. It's a half symmetric model. So let's go back to Workbench and attach a CFX method to this. Now, ANSYS has a number of other options for moving mesh and then mesh adaptation. But uh, by far, the, the immersed, bound, immersed body model is the easiest one to set up. So that's the one we're going to play with today. All right, if we generate a mesh, we can see the overlapping mesh like so. Uh, we want the area where the immersed body is, is overlapping the fluid region to be more refined. So we can put in a sizing for a body sizing. And uh, we want to do a sphere of influence and we're going to set this at the global coordinate system which is roughly where we want it to be. Uh, we want the sphere to be maybe 20 millimeters, maybe more. Okay, maybe a little bit too big. Let's do 35. And inside of this we want a fairly small mesh, so maybe a 5 millimeter mesh. So this will remesh re it. Uh, five millimeter seems kind of big, so let's do a 2.5 millimeter mesh. And obviously the smaller the mesh you make, the refined region, the more accurate this method will be. So let's, uh, let's do a 1.5. Okay, much more refined here. We have 62,000 nodes. Uh, that's equivalent to how many computational volumes we have, so that looks fine. Go ahead and update this, this 
this mesh and let's go ahead and uh, open up CFX Pre for setting up the simulation. Okay, can create a new domain here. I'm going to insert uh, a domain. So this will be the, the valve. That's our part. It'll be an immersed solid. You can see we're going to do a stationary one now, then we can move it up and down later as needed. The benefit of the immersed solid is that it's very tolerant to topology change. Let's switch this to water. We want to put in a symmetry. Oh, here we go. And um, we have an inlet and an outlet. So let's let's go ahead and uh, do an inlet here. We'll do one meter per second and we can also assign a boundary over here for the outlet you just specify average relative static pressure of zero now looking at this mesh i probably should have made it a little bit more refined at least in the boundaries so i'm going to go back here and put in a inflation layer and I'll just double click here hold down control it's got most of it except that part and um, usually I like to do 10 10 here so we can get some smaller elements right along the boundary Okay. You can see we have fairly small boundary layers where um, we have small mesh and for larger areas we have much larger boundary layers. Let's do an update here to send the new mesh over. Let's bring that new mesh in. Okay, everything else is kept uh, kept defined here so let's increase this to uh, let's say 500 time steps for convergence in case it just doesn't converge so let's let's now run the simulation so we're going to go to the solve step here and uh, I'm going to run this on uh, five cores I'll do four cores Okay, so we reached convergence criteria here. Let's take a look at the result. Turn on the symmetry here. We turn on the valve and uh, plot, for example, the pressure. You can see we get a pressure buildup here and lower pressure down here, high pressure over here. We can plot the velocity. So the flow goes around the valve and we can for example grab the outlet here uh, actually I want the inlet and I want to know what the pressure is so let's do a calculator we want the mass flow averaged at the inlet uh, I want total pressure I'll show you why this is important so 2.69 psi and copy this okay so that's a basic steady state simulation and if i was just wanted to do a steady state simulation that would be the end of it